So the students are now going to complete question two, which is to do with explosions on the worksheet of conservation and momentum questions. And now I'm going to go through the solutions to those questions. So question 2a. Question 2 says a bullet of mass 0.01 kilograms was fired from a gun at 200 meters per second. The gun itself has a mass of 0.5 kilograms. So question 2a has to calculate the momentum of the bullet. So the momentum of the bullet straightforwardly mass times velocity, so the mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet. So we put down our equation, so then we substitute in 0 0.01 multiplied by 200. This gives us 2 and then the unit kilograms meters per second. 2b, explain why the value of the gun's momentum is the same as the bullet's momentum. So the gun's momentum is the same as the bullet's due to the conservation of momentum. The magnitude or size of the momentum must be the same, although the direction of motion is opposite. We can say that the rifle has negative momentum and the bullet has positive momentum. In fact, you could say that the bullet has positive, uh, sorry, you could actually say the other way around, the bullet has negative momentum and the rifle has positive momentum. So you could, it just doesn't matter which way around you say it, it's just that they've got an opposite value. So they've got the same value of momentum, the same size, but just in a different direction. And the negative and the positive just defines which direction they're going in. And you can define that however you like. Question 2c, calculate the speed of the gun's recoil. So first of all, we have to say that momentum of the bullet equals the momentum of the rifle, just as we've been talking about in part b. Then you just put what is momentum? Well, momentum is mv. Again, so mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet equals the mass of the rifle times the velocity of the rifle. So 0 0.01 multiplied by 200 equals 0 0.5 multiplied by the velocity of the rifle. Rearrange for the unknown, which is the velocity of the rifle. So this 200 times 0 0.01 gives you 2, and then you divide through by 0 0.5, and you get 4 meters per second. Part D, so this is a bit more advanced, it says use ideas about how momentum changes after an explosion to explain how jet or rocket engines work. So question 2D, the proportion of all rockets and, and jet engines is explained by the same physical principle, Newton's third law of motion. Matter is forcefully ejected from a system, producing an equal and opposite reaction on what remains. It can also be explained in terms of momentum. A rocket and its fuel before launch have a total momentum of zero. Once the fuel moves downwards out of the rocket, it has some negative momentum, so that the rocket must balance this with positive momentum by moving upwards. This results in the whole system still retaining that zero momentum.